What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to import CAD data to start a project. Okay, so in this exercise, we are going to start a new project and we are going to import a CAD file and use the file as a basis of our design. Okay, so let's say for example, you receive a CAD file from an architect. You want to link the CAD file to start a project. So to do this, you need to import architectural data from the CAD file, which is what I'm going to show you. All right, so let's get started. So I'm going to create a new one here, new, and then I'm going to select here mechanical template, and then I'll create a project based on that template. Okay, so after we open or create a new project, so we are now going to import our CAD file. So to do that, you just need to go to the insert tab okay and then before i import there is another way to insert cad file inside your revit so that is link your cad file so it's like an xref in in autohad so linking is similar to having an xref in autohad so when the original link file changes these changes are reflected in the file when you reload the project Okay, on the other hand, there is another way, which is what we are going to do, which is import CAD. So it imports data or 3D geometry from other CAD programs to a Revit model or family. So what's the difference between your link CAD and then import CAD? So if you import a CAD file inside your Revit, you can explode your CAD file and then convert that CAD file into a Revit elements like lines, tags, okay? And then you can modify it. But if the external reference or the one that you have imported updates, you will not be able to update it here in Revit because it's already exploded and you just only use import. On the other hand, link CAD, just like what we have said earlier, if the original link file changes, these changes are reflected in the file when you reload the project. But you cannot explode your XREP file or your link file. So that's the difference between the link CAD and import CAD. Okay, so we will be using link CAD later on. So, but for this exercise, let's try to use import CAD. Okay, so I'm going to select import CAD. And then let me go to my learning folder. I think it's inside chapter four. Setting up project. So I'll be using this one. M R map link Revit building level two. All right. So before I sell by I open that, as you can see, there are, uh, there are several options here. So there is a current view only. So when you say current view only. If you check this one, you will be able to see the CAD file only in the view where you have import the CAD or link the CAD. Okay, so if you link that or import on level 1 Mac, you will only see that on level 1 Mac because you only select current view only. You will not be able to see that in, in 3D. Okay, but if you're going to uncheck this one, you'll be able to see that in other views as well, like section, like elevation, like 3D view, okay, aside from the current level. So that's what current view only means. So the colors, when you say preserve, it will preserve the original color of your CAD file. If it is invert, what happens is the dark colors, it will become light colors. Light colors will become dark colors, okay? Now the other one, black and white, then it's black and white. So your CAD file will become black and white, okay? Which is what I'm going to use. And then we're going to import all the layers. For the units, I'll select here, let's say millimeter. And then for the positioning, I'll just use the original setting here, which is auto origin to origin. And then I'll be placing that at level one. Okay, so let's now select open. <coughs> there you go. All right. That's it. So that's now your AutoCAD file. 
So what we can do, we can use window selection like this. And then let's um, move. Let's drag the elevation to put it nicely. Okay, there's your elevation. There's your elevation. Okay, so you now have your AutoCAD. So you can use this as your basis when you design your project. So if I go to the 3D view, you will see that one. All right, there you go. So let me just hide the level here. So you can right click that. And then there's an option here, hide in view. When you select element, it will only hide the selected elements or element. If you're going to select category, not only the selected element, but all the elements on that category. So I just select category. There you go. And there you have it. So you just imported your CAD file. So you can now use this as a basis for your design. Okay, so just in case the architect don't have Revit, but they have AutoCAD, this is the process that you do. Okay, so you can link or import the 2D CAD data by using the same process if you're going to use LinkCAD. All right, so hopefully you learned something from this video. If you have questions, comments, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below. But before we end up, so let me just show you the visibility graphic overrides for this one. So I'm going to open the visibility graphic overrides. And then from the import categories, you'll be able to see here the CAD file that you have imported, right? And then if you are going to expand that, you can see here all the layers on that particular link or imported CAD file, okay? Of course, you can turn off the visibility here and you can even change here the line color. If you click the override, you can change the pattern, you can change the color, and you can even change here the line weight. Okay, and another thing, during the examination, in case you're going to take the exam, there is this question wherein um, Autodesk is asking what particular layer is this in this particular uh, imported CAD file. Like for example, what is the layer of this? So for you to be able to know the layer of this one, okay, so what you do is you can select the CAD file and then there is an uh, import instance panel here and then there's an option there, query. It determines the identity of an import object and the layer on which it resides. So I'm going to go ahead and select this one and then I can now click this. So once clicked, you will now be able to see the import instance box here, wherein you can check what particular layer is that, which is this one. Okay. All right. You can actually hide that particular layer from the view. So there you go. It's now hidden, right? Okay. So if you want to bring it back, oh, you need to go to the visibility graphic overrides, go to the imported categories, and then look for that one so you just need to check that there you go okay and there you have it okay and then if you're going to click that so this is what i'm talking about you can explode that into two uh two degrees of explosion so you have the first degree partial explode it disassembles the import symbol one level to its next highest level of elements the other one is full explode it completely disassembles the import symbol into Revit text, curves, lines, and field regions, okay? So you can explode it. You can also delete layers from here, okay? You can click delete layers, and then you can select the layer here that you want to delete. You can check all, you can check none, and then you can click <coughs> one by one, okay? Then you can check none if you do not want, all right? Okay, so basically that's it for our uh, lesson. So this is how you import your CAD file in Revit. Okay, thank you for watching guys. Have a nice day.